and we anticipate a trial within approximately about a year. Can you talk about the grounds? Uh, sure. Uh, the grounds are very straightforward. Um, the Board of Education said that it fired um, Mr. Kahn and Ms. Miller for conduct at a rally on May 1, 2008. Now that rally is protected by the First Amendment. It's protected by free speech. And the board said they'd committed mis misconduct at that rally. There's now been a hearing after 12 days of testimony that said they committed no misconduct. They're simply being fired because they were at a rally and frankly they're being fired because they had the nerve to oppose Jimmy Womack and the Detroit Board of Education. And they're simply retaliating them against them for that. This school board is out of control. Shutting schools, laying off teachers, cutting the educational futures of our young people in Detroit, and we are determined to stop them and to fight for equal quality education for all the young people of Detroit. As teachers, we are united with the students in protest for the quality schools they deserve. And Heather and I are going to continue to fight, and nothing is going to stand in our way. And Womack and Scott are going to have to quit. Today, we go on the offensive with a national federal lawsuit in U.S. federal court. We began a national petition drive this weekend at the National Union Convention, got the AFT president to sign on demanding immediate reinstatement. Teachers that stand up with students should be lauded and supported and not witch hunted. This is going to end because above all the courts are the public, are the people of Detroit and this country who stand for quality education and equal rights and the future of the young people. Why the punitive damages? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure that no one ever has to go through any of this again. What Steve and I have had to go through, it's been more than a year now. It's been, it's been unbelievable. It's been the, the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. And I want to make sure that there's no other teacher, no other student, no other anybody in the city of Detroit who goes through this again. I want this to hurt Jimmy Womack. I want this to hurt Connie Calloway. I want to make sure they never do this again, ever again. And, and the only thing they respond to is, is this, is some kind of public pressure. I mean, this is not, this, this money, you know, I mean, it just, it's the only thing that they seem to respond to. They don't care about the classrooms. They don't care about the students in the classrooms. We have to really make it hurt. And, and it, it, there's just, I mean, there's no amount of money that can replace what we've been through. But we, they have to be punished for what they've done. They must be. And they've been warned all along. Like, Every step of the way, we said, end this now, this is ridiculous, it's going to end up costing the district money it doesn't have. They chose not to. They made the wrong, mis you know, they made the wrong decisions, they're going to pay for it now. I can already hear what they would say, which is that this isn't going to hurt them personally, but it will hurt the district at a time when it can ill, you know, afford to... Well, no, I, well, it should hurt them personally. First of all, I would say it should come out of Connie Calloway's quarter million dollar salary. I do think <laughs> she should pay completely for it. Uh, but the other thing is, it, it's, it's going to ultimately help the district because, first of all, it'll get rid of these people that don't represent the city of Detroit. They will be run out of town on the basis of this, and it will stop anything like this from ever happening again. The fact is, the schools are a wreck. Things are, are worse than they've ever been, and if, if this case can be the rallying point, which it will be, to really begin to turn these schools around, it will help everybody. I mean, we really, this, this, the city, the state of Michigan, really needs a change in the school district. In this case, could be really the, the catalyst for that change. Um, has the the whole Employment Relations Commission ruled on, on no. this? No, there's a, an appeal pending. But the decision is going to be upheld. It's solidly grounded. It's absolutely clear. The board's own videotapes show that Steve Kahn and Heather Miller did nothing on that day. They've never done anything. And this is purely vengeance and vindictiveness on the part of Jimmy Mobach. That's all it is. I remember covering this, I guess it was last year, and, and there was some question as to whether or not the parents were deceived into signing these permission slips to attend the rally. Yeah, and Carrot what the judge said is that all of the evidence showed that neither Steve Kahn nor Heather Miller had anything to do with any permission slips. So that issue has nothing to do with them. They know that. It wasn't the, even there part was, of the discipline. There's it wasn't all, even part of any of it. I mean, that was just a, they threw that out there to try to taint us and taint BAM and, and you know, try to inflame people. And it didn't work. I mean, it wasn't even part of the official discipline. The other thing, the kinds of things they charge are that people walked in the street on this rally. Well, it is true. There was a flooded driveway and the students walked around the flooded driveway into the street. 
They said that uh, students were swearing, and somebody chanted, hell no to segregation. That's what they chanted. So they had a, a Detroit student using the word hell, and they said that was swearing. These are the kind of charges they've made. It's been ridiculous from the beginning, it's ridiculous today, and now they're going to have to pay for it. And, and the fact is that everything they've charged us with, their police officers are the ones who really committed it. They're the ones who attacked us, and this is, this is the judge states this clearly, Judge O'Connor states this clearly in his decision. We were attacked by the police, the students were attacked and pepper sprayed by the police, and officers, they turn around and try to blame us for everything that happened that day, and that's, that's just crazy. They're trying to scapegoat us for what their police officers did to the students that day, and that's not acceptable. It's the Kilpatrick method. Yeah. They yeah. lose and then just come back because they're spending public money and just come back with more nonsense. Right. And they're going to lose. All it means is they're going to lose even worse, right. even harder. Right. It's so stupid. It should end. And now they're being sued for it. Right. And just um, at, for the last year at Cass Tech, Steve has been, I think everybody would agree, is an excellent math teacher. For the last year, they've had different substitutes, one week after another. There are uh, students at Cass Tech whose lives have been ruined by Dr. Jimmy Womack. Uh, there's nothing we can do for those students at this point except make this end and get Steve and Heather back to the classroom so a whole other group of students don't suffer. And, you know, just one last point. I mean, if there's any city in the world that should value the right of protest, and the right of young black students to protest. It's the city of Detroit. And to have the school board of the city of Detroit come down on teachers and students because they protested to keep their school open, I mean, that shows there is something very seriously wrong with that school board and what it's teaching. This is the major heritage of the city of Detroit, and they're punishing people for exactly that. Any other questions? You don't know what judges are. I, but I will know in about 10 minutes. I, if you give me cards, I'll call you. Okay. I'm sorry, we were. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think any of these are our students, but there are a bunch of Detroit teachers. Yeah. Oh, and there are. Um, there's one here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.